yeah, I guess that leaves us with the, the three body problem article that we were going to discuss. Uh, you've been writing on three body problem for the site. Got articles up. Um, yeah, have four I pieces mean, three, up right four, now. Four, four. Yeah, four four up right now. Might throw a fifth up um, for those that, that watch the the show. Episode seven has what's become known as the Einstein joke, and uh, sort of a very interesting conversation within that that penultimate episode. Might write something about that uh, in the in the coming days. So yes, that's up now. Um, if you want to take a look, highly recommend the show. Um, highly recommend the books. But yeah, this has gotten some cultural and political uh, people riled up over the one uh, one particular scene. Yeah, I thought this was interesting. So I haven't seen the show. I've read Ryan's articles and editing and stuff like that. And it was interesting to me, too, because it's something we talked about because I was a little confused based on my understanding of the Cultural Revolution in China and, and things like that. And also maybe because the Chinese government's effectively been suppressing stuff about some of the stuff that was going on. Because really, it's relatively accurate. There's a scene with what they call a struggle session and so on sort of deciding here this isn't a spoiler it's out there people are talking about it in various ways uh so apologies if anyone finds this to be a spoiler it's also yeah. a real thing that happened 60 years ago so i mean they're, they're the... right and, and we don't need to go into detail of how yeah. it fits into the show right you know well, we can avoid that spoiler um but you know the long and sh short of it is in the persecution of um scientists basically yep yep Anything um, to do with science, anything to do with a lot of with uh, religion as well. Yeah. Right. Which that was the the science part was the odd fit in terms of. Mm -hmm. So I thought I knew some things about Mao. And but I think it's the I don't know, the Western science part of the science, Western science, the Western the emphasis on Western. I don't know. Anyway, yes, we don't need to get yes. caught up on that. But <laughs> I thought it was interesting. I wasn't aware of this. So uh, the Chinese government as it were, is not terribly happy with this being in the Netflix show. Yeah. And it isn't the scene, which is in the book, as I understand it, right? The scene is not in that in the Chinese version of the um, show. So I, I actually have been reading about this, and this is tremendously interesting to me. So this book originally came out in Chinese in 2006. And as we've discussed before, this book is densely populated with very scientific techno jargon explanations of different theories and models and and um, scientific experiments and explanations my the, what i have seen and verify this couple places this struggle session scene that opens the english language book and also opens the show which is incredibly powerful um and has become con controversial was in the original chinese book but they buried it yeah. inside a chapter that was like full of scientific jargon and so it's like, hopefully they miss it and they'll let us push it through and, and publish it. And apparently that happened. Uh, but when the English translation came out, Sishin Lu, who is the author, put it back in the front because he said that's where it should have been in the first place. Yeah. Really interesting. So, very interesting. Um, and then you've got, you know, I don't know what you think about this. You know, I don't even have to go too far into this, but you've got uh, figures on the right wing of American politics saying, oh, this is like cancel culture. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think of that? Um, I, I find it inter interesting that this is what they have adopted as a sort of cultural moment to say, here's the dangers of getting too woke. If you, you know, go down yeah. this path, the logical conclusion of that is the left is going to start publicly persecuting and beating you. Um, so it, it, it's, <laughs> I don't want to go so far as to say, hypocritical or just completely wrong-footed but it's 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 a stretch in my mind it's a stretch yeah. it strikes me as a little bit of a silly claim yeah yeah um no one is yeah I don't know. I don't know. I mean, if, if nothing else if the show does interesting if you're just looking for a, a sort of an emotional powerful moment that actually is embedded in history the first 15 minutes of free body problem are very, very well done and sort of reflect what actually did happen back in the late 60s, early 70s. Yeah. And, and that's interesting about this, too, that my understanding is looking into it a bit, that historically it's accurate. Mm -hmm. um, the calls for revolution, and this is what's making China communist ultimately, right? right. But so the um, but the currently existing 
um, what I, I keep wanting to say the CCP is that what it is the CCP anyway the Chinese yeah. government right now they're, they're like no 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 that didn't happen this is like a Tiananmen Square thing so yeah. it, it didn't happen you know didn't, didn't, didn't happen um, which is which is interesting but they let him kind of sneak it into the book yes but anyway now it, it wasn't in the show so that in China. But right. it's in not, the American not in the Chinese show. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So um I don't know. I- interesting thing. 